All right, grazing movements. What are we carrying out? What are we covering in here, Ben? So this, these um, figures generally won't be in your statement of accounts, yep. but you'll have a record of what mobs you've had on when they arrived and when they left. So at the top here is your on-farm grazing. So this is what's happened during the year. So you would have in the previous pay page had your livestock balances. So you'll be um, addressing those. So this is where you deal with things like dairy cows that come on to graze, yeah. dairy heifers, etc. That are, uh, yeah, all or part year. This is where you need to specify it so we get an accurate estimate yeah. of feed eaten, basically. Yeah. So in this one, you can either just do the tally that lead. So we'll start with the first mob, which was mixed age. Dairy cows. Dairy cows. Make sure you're it's important to get the right because there's mixed yeah. age beef cows, mixed age dairy yeah. cows. Yep. Yeah. Important to get the right one. So in here we can we had that there was uh, one mob of 233 that arrived and 233 that left. If you if a couple were lost mm -hmm. um, during that time, you you can still put in those those accurate numbers, but or you could just take with what what left. Now, the trick here is these are on, um, we've, there's technically two mobs, but yes. they're on because they're on over balance date. So yep. you need, and we've used the same number to hopefully keep it simple, but um, we need to um, account for the fact that they're both on and open when they leave, and then that they're, um, some arrive at, for 30th of June balance date, there's going to be some dairy cows on at both balance yep. dates starting into the year, but they're a different mob. So we need to account for when the first lot leave and when the second lot arrive. Yep. So since we've got two mobs, I'll do this now. I'll add in the second mob. Yep. And then we can I come back really, and do I the really be calling it herd. Um, <laughs> but uh, so, and the other, um, the second lot with 233 as wow. well. Yep. Keep it simple. So one mob from that previous page, they're on hand and open. Then they left on the 15th of June, 2015. So this date has to operate within mm. that season. So if I came back and made that 2019, it's going to point out that you, you've got the wrong mob or you're operating the wrong year. You can drop back and change the season to uh, correct that, or you could fix it here. So these okay. left in 2015. Yep. And the key thing there is it's saying they were on that for 4% of the year. Yep. So it's not overestimating how much feed they ate and therefore how many emissions they contributed. Yeah, so in behind our tool, we're essentially calculating how much time each uh, class of animal is on, on the farm. So if this is a, this detail is an extra detail, like as, as we mentioned in an earlier video, that the livestock balances, the opening and closing balances are the important, um, the sort of the, the bare bones to get through this tool to represent your farm. But if those, if you had these two mobs, that were on for, um, one on for 4% of the year, and then the second mob came on in the 8th of June 2016, and they were at close. You would have had 12 months of the year of mixed age uh, cows instead of 10% of the year. Yep. So this is a bit of definition to give that we've included, so you get a better reflection of what is actually happening on your farm. Then when we come down, Remember we had that mob of mixed age ewes, mm -hmm. that um, 500 left and 500 returned, but they're off farm at open and they're off farm at close. So they're not actually on the year, on the farm at all. Yep, so 500 ewes and depart is effectively what's on at open in the box. Five hundred return is what's on at close, but they didn't set a foot on the farm the whole year. Therefore, they haven't eaten any feed. Therefore, there is no emissions to account for yep. from those used for yep. your farm. Yep. Awesome. So they, they're just a little bit more detail that you can add into your um, into into this tool, um, so you're not getting pinged for what necessarily isn't uh, due to you. So there's a little bit of just getting those dates right, but as you can see, it's significant because that's a whole lot of uh, feed eating time on farm emissions that we don't want to have don't want to have in the final tally. Now for if you were to come into this tool and you didn't have any, we've deliberately left these um, so that you get prompted with one so you just so, so you uh, have a thing about it but if you have 
a blank, like no grazing operating on your farm. You hit that, you hit the red square, hit the red square, and move on.